Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Fine. You? <laughs> All good. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So maybe we can just start that you just introduce yourself uh, into the camera. Just who okay. you are, which country are you from? <clears throat> Hi. My name is Jose Ramon Bauza. I am a member of the European Parliament from Spain, from Mallorca. And my work is to make the transport, the European transport, more sustainable and affordable for you. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the SAF, Sustainable Aviation Fuels. When you fly yourself, are you, are you a relaxed or a nervous flyer? Nervous or relaxed? Always, always relaxed. Why? Because uh, for me, flying is a relaxing time. In fact, sometimes some people ask me, where are you based? I used to say, I'm based in an airplane, so I have some more flight hours than some regular pilots. I am absolutely relaxed. Do you book your seats at the window or at the owl? Window, all right. Absolutely windows. Why? Because I want to know what is happening around me, outside the airplane, because inside the airplane, everything is under control. City break or trip to the beach? Well, this is a complicated situation. I'm from Mallorca, I should say beach. But anyway, as I love to fly, I will take the longest flight I could take. So, beach at home, but city, maybe Sydney. Now, onto the serious stuff. Okay. Refuel Aviation, new European rules. Can you explain in one sentence what's it, what's it all about? Refuel Aviation Fuel is a new European regulation too ensure the production and the use of sustainable aviation fuels. Does this mean that flying will become a more a better for the climate? And it, do I, can I stop feeling guilty for flying? Never has to feel bad about that, because now we are creating a new rules. Obviously, at the very beginning, there is not enough stuff to, in order to be used, but we are creating a new flexible mechanism in order to be used step by step during the next year. So, don't feel bad about that. We are doing just for you. Will my flight become more expensive? Obviously, at the moment, we don't have enough staff. But anyway, that's the way we are creating a new rules, a new legislation in order to increase the production. Every single step that the production will be increased, the cost of them, it will decrease. So sustainable aviation fuels, it will be the absolute next step, but cheaper, absolutely more cheaper every single year that what we have nowadays. But it's the only way to arrive to our goals in the Green uh, Deal. Are there enough alternatives available for kerosene? Of course, we have them. Uh, at the moment, we have to be very clear. We need the kerosene, the mix of kerosene and sustainable aviation fuels. But every single year, it will be less kerosene and more sustainable aviation fuels for flying around Europe, around the world. The new rules say that 2% of fuels need to be sustainable by 2025. Is that ambitious enough? Maybe. It doesn't sound very ambitious, but it's a starting point. We need to send a clear message. We need to send a clear signal to the operators, to the market, in order to have this kind of investment. In fact, it's absolutely important that the legal certainty go hand by hand with the legislation that we are doing together. To get the Green Deal objectives, we need to decarbonize the aviation sector. And at the moment, the only way to do that is with the use of sustainable aviation fuels. If we do that, we can decrease CO2 emission up 80% in 2050. Thank you very much for watching these videos. Maybe you won't see some of them, you have here enough. But anyway, do you want to subscribe? It will be the best you can do it. Don't do it yet? Please, come on, you have time enough.